Right, in this video I'm going to show you how I make these um, simple brass and stainless steel thumb screws. They're high quality, very easy to make, and this is a method of making thumb screws without too much wastage of material, particularly brass, which is very expensive at the moment. I'll show you how to make them on the Chinese mini lathe. Right, so this is the one I'm making on the Chinese mini lathe. It's a six millimeter thumb screw and it's made out of stainless steel and brass. And I'm using the same tool set that I showed in my last video. This is the turning tool. I've put the brass up into the chuck there and it's running out a little bit so I'm going to skim the diameter if it was running dead true I'll just uh, leave it as it is so first I face off And I just take the minimal amount off just to clean out. So now I've centre drilled it and now I'm going to use a 5mm drill which is the core diameter for the 6mm um, thread. And I'll be drilling down to a certain point um, so that I don't drill right the way through. Next I use the 6mm tap and because I'm going down a blind hole I don't do it by um, machining um, as such, I do it by turning the chuck by hand to save breaking the tap. So that's the thread done. So now I'm going to do this um, front turn here. And now I'm going to use my 45 degree um, HSS tool to put a chamfer on both the shoulders there. Like 
like that. And now I've got the choice of um, different nails that I could use. I use a straight nail on um, this one rather than the um, standard type like this. And then I use my 45 degree tool again. It's sharpened to a point so I can put a couple of decorative grooves in the now And you'll see there that I chamfered the um, back face there at the same time, ready for the part off. Um, if you're doing decorative grooves, make sure you get them equal um, to make them look professional. And then I simply part that one off. Using uh, this tool here which I got from that set. I'll put a link below for this um, set of tools. like that and then all I have to do is put it up in the jaws again and give it a light skim on this face here to remove the um, pip on the end here and if you want to you can actually put a couple of um, decorative grooves in this face here but you'll see there that having the decorative grooves make it look um, really a nice component and all this I do now is get a um, grub screw and I use a bit of Loctite 638 on the end of the grub screw there, the socket end. I screw into the component like that and tighten it up and let the 638 go off and it'll be absolutely solid because it's a high strength adhesive. So to finish off I've turned it round in the jaws and I'm going to use my HSS tool again using this end this time. This is a very handy tool having two ends you can use it in both sides of the um, tool post. So I can actually skim off the back face there taking that little pip off plus I can make the chamfer bigger if I need to on this end.
and then I'll put one decorative groove in this face as well. And this is the finished component. And you can make them in all different styles. I made this one here, I haven't put the um, thread in that one uh, yet, or the um, grub screw. Remember you can use um, studding as well, um, cut off a piece of thread and put a bit of Loctite 638 in the threads and um, screw that one home. So you don't have to have grub screws and you can also do them where they're just like a collar like that and um, do a batch of them so you can actually thread the right the way through. They're really easy to make and they look really good on um, different uh, components.